Maria, thanks for all your help. You are making a big difference. Eric, thank you for helping out. I think of you at every Extraordinary Performance Award ceremony. Thanks for modeling this nourishing people's lives behavior. It is one of the many things that makes our company so special. Thank you for joining us for lunch today on short notice. I hope you found the discussion helpful. Have a great year, Doug. Thank you for helping out and thank you for the holiday card. Cheers. Lorraine, sounds like a great meeting. When you have a chance, please get 15 minutes on my schedule and take me through your Women of Campbell Global Plan. Thanks, Doug. Hi, greetings from Sydney, Australia, the other side of the planet. Uh, Doug, uh, Doug's legacy in this region has certainly been uh, the way in which he has been very supportive. As you walk around the building, you often see uh, people uh, across both the plants and head office reading Doug notes. And those Doug notes really do touch uh, a number of people every week out here. And it certainly does allow the organisation here to stay connected uh, to Campbell Global. I started at Campbell Soup back in 2004. And over the years, I've received several personal notes from Doug uh, for the work that either I've done or our group has done. Uh, and it always has a great impact. After my first interview with Campbell's, there was a book uh, that Doug shared uh, with me about uh, Campbell's and the history of Campbell's. And in it was a, a very, very personal note that uh, I, I read to my family. And uh, the following Monday, I accepted the offer with Campbell's. And uh, for that, I'm forever grateful. I've had the opportunity to know Doug for many years through my involvement in SIFE in college and his involvement in SIFE. From the note I received on my first day here at Campbell's to thank you notes that I've gotten from participating in lunches with him to his daily check-ins in our department when he walks through in his effort to get 10,000 steps in a day. One thing I know for sure is that everybody will really miss Doug and seeing him walk through our office. Shortly after 9-11 occurred, I had written a poem called I Fly My Flag, and it was put into a display here at the Napoleon plant to honor the survivors and the people that we lost. And that week, Doug Conant visited the plant and read my poem and asked for a copy of it. And he took it home and shared it with his family and wrote me a letter saying how it touched him and his family and that he was really happy that I had written it. And that touched me deeply and it made me think of Doug not only as a CEO, but as a real person. Doug's leadership has inspired me to be a better leader and to be all of me in the workplace. And I know that's true not just for me, but for all of our open members, both gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, and our allies. His unconditional and unwavering support of diversity and inclusion um, has uh, completely evolved our culture in the time that I've been here. Um, from my point of view, uh, Doug is not just an inspired leader. He is, in fact, a role model in this regard. A group of us had this idea about a mural painted by employees, but we couldn't get any traction on the idea until one day, as I was walking down the hallway, I ran into Doug. He liked the idea and he supported it and he helped bring it to life. I can't think of any better homage to Doug than the mural, which reflects his passion to Campbell Soup Company and diversity and the efforts of employees to bring that to life. One of my favorite memories of Doug was the time when I was reading to a group of students and it was a program called Read and Believe. And we had read to the children and we had walked outside to wait for their bus to come. Their bus never came, never came. And they were outside for like 15 minutes, rowdy, running around, screaming, and I was trying to calm them all down. Doug had walked up and saw the kids and he sat down on the bench and he took the book and just started reading to these kids and they started climbing all over him and really seriously listening to him and he was really enjoying it and so were they. It was just a really sweet moment. My dad works at the Campbell's Napoleon plant and when I was 10 years old I won the Napoleon Campbell's Soup 50th Anniversary Essay Contest. It was just a really great experience and I sat next to Doug Conant at the lunch. Well, when we were eating, I needed help cutting my chicken, so he helped me. And it was just really great. He was a really kind person, and I didn't know he had such an important position in Campbell's Soup. He was just so kind. It was an amazing experience. Working with Doug in the CEO Institute has helped me realize that leadership is all about the people. I had the pleasure of meeting Doug in Camden and also here at the Everett plant when he came to tour for us. I presented him the EPS shoot-off out here, 
and I felt very, very valued by him. Um, I think the legacy that he leaves with us is his sense of family, his sense of humor that he brought into everyday life, and just the way he made you feel that whatever you were saying was the utmost important thing at that moment. We launched our Childhood Hunger and Obesity program here in the city of Camden. The day was very exciting uh, as it finally got off the ground. Um, after the event, I came back to my desk and there was a post-it there saying that DRC was looking for me. So I ran up to his office. The second I walked in, he got up from his desk, walked over to me and shook my hand and simply said, thank you. Uh, thank you for your tremendous effort on this program. And he said it was one of the best days he had ever had here at this company. And I don't think there is a singular thing better than that moment to really reiterate to me what a great man Doug is, wonderful leader, and a reminder of why I love to work for this company and I love my job. I was based at Players Miranda and I received an envelope in the internal mail with Douglas R. Conant on the front of it. When we opened it was a response from Doug around one of the activities I was involved with. Once the letter had been shared with my team, one of the members took it and got it laminated. For them, they were amazed that the boss of our organisation would take the time out to recognise an individual. I remember several years ago, Doug visited the Customer Financial Services Group at Pepperidge Forum. This is a group of individuals that don't have a lot of interaction with senior management, and certainly not the CEO of the company. And what so impressed me that day was the amount of time Doug took to get to know the team, and to understand the work that we do in support for our SDAs. It really made a difference to the team, and after his visit, they were truly energized. But what really struck me that day is that it's not just words on a poster, but that Doug truly values all of the members of the Campbell family. It's not amazing that everybody in the company knows the CEO. What is amazing to me is how many people Doug knows personally. I've worked in many different countries, many different business units, and he has touched so many lives across this company. One of the things that he told me that really resonated was that whatever you do, Faith, you need to be passionate about it. You really need to have it come from the heart. I've always been incredibly impressed with the CEO, uh, Doug Conant. But over the years, I've also grown a lot closer to Doug and gotten to know him personally. And as he leaves, um, he's left more of an impact on me as a person than he has as a CEO. And that's the part I think I'll miss the most. He has seen me through good times, bad times, helped me with my objectives, he's given me some good advice on those, has also been a warm, caring person to me and my family through good and through bad times. Mr. Doug is my BFF at work. Everybody already knows that. That is what um, is, is key uh, for me and key about Doug is that, that relationship and that care and concern about who we are as human beings, first and foremost, and then secondarily as employees. Thank you, Doug. Thanks, Doug. Thank you, Doug. Thank you. Thank you, Doug, so much for your encouragement and support. Thank you, Doug. Thanks, Doug. Thank you, Doug. Your legacy extends across the Asia Pacific. Thank you for everything. We wish you all the best. But thanks for us. We wish you all the best. Good luck. Thank you, Doug. 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 For everything.